get to know my music. I've got a ton of stuff to show you guys because I've been really lacking in making some videos, I noticed. I've just been so busy because finals are coming up in three or four weeks. Um, school's going to be getting out soon. And I've just been hectic with tests and homework and work schedules and getting jobs. It's just been crazy. So I haven't had much time to post anything since I got back from Maple Vacation. As you can pro could probably see, I posted two videos from Record Store Day 2013. I know it feels ancient now, but when it, for Record Store Day 2013, I got a large amount of stuff. Um, two things I got in Florida, which I posted the video from, um, and the rest of it my friend bought for me. The only things he couldn't find was the Swedish House Mafia singles 12-inch, and he couldn't find the Strokes All The Time um, 7-inch. Which I was very bummed about, but hey, you get what you get. Um, so, I'm going to start off with the new CDs that I've got. Um, and I'm going to start off with the CD that I just got today, and I'm so excited about. You can probably hear it a little bit in the background here. Um, I just got Daft Punk's fourth album, Random Access Memories, today. It is, I have to say, a very, very insanely good album. It's probably up there with, um, with Discovery. By the way, um, on Monday, today's the 21st, yesterday, the 20th, Romanthony, who did the singing for one more time in too long on this Daft Punk's Discovery album, passed away at age 47. So I'm very sad to hear that. Um, it really is too bad. He was too young to pass away. So I'm kind of bummed about that, but stuff happens. So anyways, back to the album. The album is amazing, like I said. Every song is really good, except there's a few that are, are a little bit too slow for me. Probably slower than Something About Us from Discovery. Um, they could be a little bit better, but... They are, the album is really good. There's some songs that don't flow good together, but that doesn't mean that they can't be on the album. You got Julian Casablanca's from The Strokes. You got Giorgio Moroder, uh, Paul Williams, Panda Bear from Animal Collective. Who else? There's Chili Gonzalez. There's a ton of huge, ton of people on it huge amount of people um and basically oh in Farrah Williams and Nile Rodgers there we go so all these people making big hit records big hits just joining Daft Punk because they want to basically they asked to join them um so like I said really good album I'm still my uh final version of Random Access Memories just shipped today so I should be getting that next week. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, I'll probably show you the unboxing of it. So next, last Tuesday, I got Vampire Weekend's new album, Random... I'm um, not random. I'm still thinking Daft Punk because I just got the album today. Um, I got Vampire Weekend's Modern Vampires of the City. Very, very well done album. I love that they always have like this cover in front of it. What's different from their CD for their self-titled album and Contra is this label right here. This one I like because it gives it a little bit more color to this black and white black, black and white background. Um, and what's cool, also cool, is it just shows the logo on the back, and then when you take the cover off, it shows the cover with no logos or anything like that on it or album titles. And then on the back, it's completely different. It just has like white lines in the names of the songs and just some copyright information. And the inside, the booklet's very thick because they use some very thick paper. And I love that every CD has this cool design type of design on it. A very well written album. Um, I love all the roots and elements to it. I love on one of the songs, I think it's um, Don't Lie. There's a little bit of steel drums on it, so it gives it like a tropical feel. 
that's really cool. I like that they use, they're not using like the similar instruments as other albums. They're trying to do something different with every album. Contra, I wasn't a huge fan of. There was like five or six good songs, and then all the rest were kind of songs where if you're doing your homework, you just want something to listen to. Um, and I still have yet to listen to their self-titled album. Alright, next I have the deluxe version of Phoenix's Bankrupt. Very, very good album. Not um, Compared to Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix, Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix is better, but this one's a little bit more funkier. This one kind of sounds like Daft Punk's new album um, on the funkiness level. Um, mostly more like Get Lucky, Lose Yourself to Dance, and Give Life Back to Music. Um, but this whole album is really well written, and I love all the samples on it. Hey, right. well, I'm doing a video. That's my dad again. Um, so yeah, there's Bankrupt, and it, and this, what's interesting is the second disc is longer than the first, and it has more songs. It has 71 tracks, but some of them range from one second to like a minute to two minutes. So there's that. Those are the three albums that I've got recently. Now. I'm